Hi, I'm Don Walker with GermTech Sanitizing. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the fogger and how easy and quickly you can sanitize your entire facility. Okay, here's the fogger. A few simple things you'll need to do once you get it. Uh, just release the cord from the attachment, very simple. The next thing is you're gonna take your tube and stick it inside of the black round hole. It's a one-way receiving valve inside. Once you push it in, it will stay in, and you'll never need to take this out as long as you own the fogger. The last thing you're gonna do here is undo the cap, fill it with solution, put the cap back on, make sure it's tight, it doesn't come off. One thing I will tell you as a side note, the little knobs here, you'll wanna make sure they're firm, and every once in a while they're gonna come loose, so keep them firm, and that will give your unit stability when you use it. And here's how you use the fogger. First, we're gonna plug it in, and now your fogger is ready to go. This is your on and off switch. All I do is turn it back and it goes on. One thing I'll mention, this is a little adjustment, flow adjustment valve. I don't find that it normally makes a difference, so I don't worry about it. Once I turn it on, you'll see the spray. And that's how simple it is to get your fogger to work. Now that your fogger is ready to go, let's talk about fogging your facility. There's four important points you wanna remember when you're fogging a facility. We're gonna use two chairs today because they'll let you see any overspraying that we do. And imagine those are any surfaces you're gonna spray, maybe a spinning bike, a rowing machine, what have you. The first point that you wanna remember is stand about six feet away from whatever object you're spraying. You don't wanna to be too close, you'll tend to overspray it. The second point is you wanna move medium to fast. You don't wanna dwell on an area, you will definitely overspray it. And let me show you what that looks like. And that's basically it. I'm going in a quick S and I keep moving. The third point is when you spray, you wanna make sure that it's gonna dry in about one to three minutes. If it takes longer than that to dry, you probably oversprayed. And the final point is, the fourth point is when I visually inspect something that I sprayed, I wanna just feel just the lightest of dampness. That's about the right amount of spraying. If I see dripping or an oversaturation, you definitely oversprayed. Those are the four simple points, and I'm gonna give you one bonus point. Make sure when you're spraying a facility that you hit different angles so you get all parts of an object covered or machine. And those are the four points to remember when you're fogging a facility. Now we're gonna show you what it's like to spray a facility in real time. Before we do that, I wanna bring up four things. The first is if you're gonna spray glass or mirrors, you may, want to, you may need to wipe it up slightly when you're done. Just be aware of that, depending how close you got. The second thing is, when you're doing bathrooms, make sure you get handles and behind the door and behind the toilet. The third thing, if you're gonna spray mats, you can have your members wipe their mats off first. You can come over and just like you would spray any other object, give it a spray, let it dry one to three minutes. The fourth point is if you're gonna try to clean equipment, you can either dip it straight into a one to five solution or you can spray it and let it dry. Now, let's look at what it's like to spray a real facility in real time.
So there you have it. You have everything you need to know to sanitize fog spray your facility. Most importantly, this is one of the best ways to build customer confidence, get them to join, and get them coming back. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.